What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Alien Isolation where we will be attempting to not wind up dead while I sneak around and I'm hoping that the alien does not come back around. So in the previous episode I had basically, oh the alien is actually already down, that's not good. Okay, so where are we going here? That's bad, the alien's in there already. That's troublesome. So... I actually wasn't expecting the alien to be down out of the vent so soon. I'm gonna go back in here, I guess. We'll just kind of keep our head down for a minute. I don't really like this vent because it's like shiny and scary. But he's got to go back in the vents before I can investigate anything further. So we picked up a key card in the previous episode. A key which will function as a card. Or a card that will function as a key. I suppose I could say that backwards. I had a simple job to do. I had a simple job to do and I messed it up. There's also a levitating gun that I can see through the walls over there. That's a little weird. Oh wow. That's a trip. Okay, so where is this thing? It's not moving. It seems like it's way far away, so I'm just going to kind of let it go until I make eye contact. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. I don't want to make eye contact anymore. We need to get it to move. Basically, we're stuck here until the alien goes back up into the vents because it's a very, very small, isolated area. So the unfortunate truth of the matter is that until the alien goes back up, not I was going to say goes to ground, but frankly, he's not going to go to ground. He's going to go back up into the vents. Which are the opposite of the ground. I suppose the vents could operate as the ground for the next floor up. But that seems like it would be a little overly excessively damaging to the infrastructure of the building. I mean, knowing what I know about ventilation, you probably don't want to walk on it too much. Use it to breathe? Absolutely. But walk on it? Eh. Unfortunately, I'm not excited by the prospects of having to sit here for super long. I wonder if the railgun, or I'm sorry, the bolt launcher, whatever the hell that thing's called. What was it called? The bolt gun. The bolt gun. I wonder if the bolt gun works on the alien. I should probably reload this too right now rather than, like, you know, risk getting owned. I don't think the alien's going to leave. I'm really feeling like the alien's probably not going to leave for a while because I may have frustrated him. I threw Molotovs and also a pipe bomb at him. And... I feel like that probably didn't endear me to him very much. I am, however, let's use some of these extra supplies to make another pipe bomb just in case because I was panicking a little bit in between episodes trying to figure out like what I was going to do to get this alien out of the way now that we no longer have any way to circumnavigate him. God. I think it's just hanging out in that room looking for me. It's probably going through all the drawers and everything. Damn, alien. Stop getting your B and E on and just like go somewhere else. Can I please finish the game today? I would love to finish the game today. I want this to be my final recording session. And if you don't allow me to beat the game, I know how close I am now. I looked it up, and I want to go. I can't decide if it's up in the vents right now. Either that or it was like right on the other side of the wall right there. Either or. I'm gonna go investigate real fast. But yeah, the place we need to go is inside this room over here. And so long as the alien is still wandering around and like being a nuisance, unfortunately there's nothing I can really do. Hmm. It might be in the hallway over there. I don't hear any movement in the vents, but... That angle, you'd think I'd be able to see him at this point. I mean, that's what I would lean towards anyways. I think it just popped out again. Yeah, it was in the vents, and then it decided to come visit. Alright, so the place we need to go is, like, over there, which is a little confusing, but... I can't really tell... Okay, so never mind, it's pointing us down individual hallways right now. 
I'm gonna set myself on fire like an idiot. Fire burn, bad. Fire bad, Ripley, no. Okay, so I'll stay away from fire for right now. And now all I can really do is hope that this thing, like, goes away. That's basically where we're stuck right now. If it doesn't leave, we have, like, serious, serious problems. And I ain't talking about no satellite radio. Let's see here. I think that I'm supposed to use the keycard and something in that room, and I should have done it in the last episode, and that was my big mistake, and the fact that I didn't is irking me right now. And I really don't like being irked. Being irked, you gotta be really good friends with me before I'll let you irk me. And if he gets too much closer, I'll have to stop the beeper because he might hear it through the walls. But it's inside that first ring that he can hear the beeps. Come on, you know there's nothing in there, alien. Be about your business. Be about your business. I'm trying to keep my pacing just right so that if he ends up coming out the door I can throw the pipe bomb without killing myself because suicide is not something that I'm attempting to do right now although given the options of being like impregnated by alien seed and you know all the other horrible things chest bursters and whatnot it might not be so bad it's not a terrible idea but I'm not a quitter like that so Okay, so it's back up in the vent now. We know that for a fact. We saw it happen. So what we really need to do at this point is just, like, hustle and get over here. And if I can't make that happen... It says this is where I'm supposed to be. But I don't see anything over here that does anything here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pipe bomb right here just in case and then I'm gonna jump onto this terminal and hopefully this doesn't kill me I thought the last time we checked this there was like nothing going on but let's see yeah I don't really see what I'm supposed to be doing here unfortunately oh maybe that thing does it hold on let me have my pipe bomb back and also let me take my pipe bomb back out in case I need to defend myself. Maybe it's this thing. There we go. Do yo thang. Do what you're gonna do. Oh, Christ. Okay, that was noisier than expected. Awesome. I just want to go under it. That's all that I care about right now. Can I please go under this? Awesome. Alright, so now that I'm all stressed and just like sweaty and not ready to do anything brave oh you're gonna make me ion torch this come on now all right oh there's no way there is no way this is such a bad idea there we go Get that door open, come on. Okay, so we're in here now. We need to find an alternate route to the space flight terminal. I totally forgot what I was supposed to be doing, and so I had to check real fast. I sincerely hope that there's no like nearby vents in here because that would totally suck a to ass. Can I go in here? Where's the door that I'm looking for? There's gotta be some way through here. You're gonna make me go all the way around? All right, let's go all the way around. Don't like it, don't want to do it, but will if I have to. Wow, that door is messed up in a number of ways. There's a cabinet back there that we could maybe hide up inside. No alien as of right now, though. So I'm just going to hustle. Let's go ahead and save our game, though, just in case, because it's very, very rare that I ever get an... Did I just hear it come down? It didn't say hostiles around, so I'm assuming we're safe for now. It's very, very rare that I ever get the opportunity to actually, like, save without something bothering me and or trying to murder me and impregnate me, so I'll take it. Compound B. We need all the loot we can get right now because I am absolutely at the bottom of the barrel. Okay, so scrap. There we go. We'll grab that. 
Anything over here we can make use of? Nay. Still no alien, weirdly enough. There is some loot back here, though. So let's go for it. Okay, so where am I going? Back over here, and then to the right is where it wants me to go. Will this door open? Is it... Or do I have to go through the... It looks like that door's messed up. I'm going in the vent. Also, I think the alien's coming, so... I'd rather be in here than anywhere else. Well, getting killed in the vent would kind of suck. I mean, I've got like a claustrophobia thing going on, so... Where is it? I'm gonna wait till I get a pip to let me know where it's hiding at, but for right now I'm gonna eyeball everything in the room because I can get away with it and ain't nobody gonna stop me. Usually eyeballing in civilized society a terrible plan. Not a great way to leave yourself lined up for success, but... I'm, I'm trying really, really hard. Believe me, it is an imperative. It is definitely a thing that I'm going for. If I can abandon station, I will abandon the hell out of this station. Okay, so we just had a beep. It wants me to go back over here. A key card required. Okay. So since we need a key card, let's look for a dirt guy. There's always a dead guy around if you need a key card. There he is. Are you my... I can basically promise you the alien's gonna show up, show up if I use the flamethrower. At least he has every other time, and so I panicked and I shot that face hugger. So we survived it for once. They tried to get us with one of their nasty little gotchas. But I'm gonna stay in here while he investigates. Oh, that's unpleasant. That's unpleasant in so many ways. Not being able to tell if he's above you or in the vent with you. Oh, that's deeply upsetting. Well, it's unfortunate they forced me to discharge my flamethrower because we really, 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 really need to conserve some of that ammo. God, it's just another one of those episodes. I'm just sitting around in a vent like always. Okay, so... Gotta make a decision here. Got to make... Where are the access points? Like, where can it get into this room? I'm actually not seeing any ceiling vents or any way for it to get in here, strangely enough. Unless I missed it. I mean, I can still hear it rattling around in there, and it might be able to get out in the hallway over there. And then come back this way. Is that a vent? I think it may have seen us. It's gonna take it a while to get here, but we should be okay. How come it gets that free hit? I hate that free hit. That free hit is so ridiculous. It was just like, well, you beat me, so here's developers. We're still gonna give the alien a free shot. Enjoy! It's gonna come back, so I'm getting the hell out of here while 
the getting is fortunately good. Now, where does it want me to go right now? Back this way? Good. I have no problem with that. Let's go this way. I missed a bunch of loot, but I don't even care. Oh, our flamethrower's out. Great. Well, we should also probably, like, use a med kit. Awesome! Med kit used. Oh. I will throw a pipe bomb up inside this vent, even though I know it's a terrible idea. Oops. I panicked a little. I may have panicked a tiny bit. And, like, done something dumb. Oh, man. I'm gonna regret this decision, aren't I? Eh. Go through the door. Why are you stuck? Please go through the door. Get in. No one here but us cabinet files. People that really like cabinets. Nobody here but us. Eee. I hate you, alien. Go away. I swear to God, motion scan. If you beep, motion scanner. If you beep, I will be just incredibly upset with you. It's going to be like, beep, just to mess with me right there. Like, ah, I got gotcha. you. I accidentally threw my pipe bomb, if you're wondering what happened right there. My finger slipped off the mouse. I just got back from my run, and my fingers are kind of weird. Since I have no way to deter the alien from being an alien and doing bad things to me, I could have walked out through the door in that room, huh? I didn't even have to go around this way. I made a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I don't want to be in this room anymore. I am no longer in June. Okay, so I think it's back up above now. Oh shit, no it's not. Well then. That was kind of bullshit. It jumped up in the vent and then just like jumped right back out. I'm like, what? Why'd you even go up in the vent in the first place? Oh man, this is what happens when I try to play fast. This is what happens. So it took us back to the save point. Now that I have some vague recollection of what's going to happen when I do this, I can actually play this a little bit better. That also gives me my pipe bomb back, so I'm not actually that... I'm not that bummed out about dying. I feel a... I feel reasonably okay about it. So it's going to open that door over there when we go through here. I don't think the alien came out when we shot the facehugger with the flamethrower. I really wish that they could kind of like go out of their way to build their electronics a little bit quieter. Wait, why don't they have 50 fuel this time? Shouldn't I have 75? Did I miss fuel somewhere? Hmm. Did I? No, there's fuel over here. That's what it was. Okay, so with the flamethrower fuel, let's actually try and track down a place to hide before I mess with a facehugger. It could be really, really great. If there was a box or something I can hide in around here. I would actually really, really enjoy that. If it would just maybe give me some satisfaction in that regard. But it looks like the closest hiding space is... Way the hell over there. So in that situation... And what does this do? Like, how does that help me? Like, where do the cables go? So the cables run... I assume they do something. So the cables run to the... What is that generator for? Huh. Kind of an odd situation here where I'm not sure what that cable's for. Uh, they hit it behind a box. <laughs> All right. Obviously, that's probably going to upset the alien slightly. Evacuate station. This is not a drill. 
So what does that do for me, though? I don't... It's not really making it clear. Extend the tow platform beneath the space flight terminal to escape on the Torrens before the Sevastopol falls into the KG-348. Okay, so I'm not even in the terminal yet. So maybe it opens that door over there or something? Basically, I don't know where this thing is coming from, but I'm going to try and loop around behind it safely. I assume that with all the smoke, chaos, and just ridiculous debris all over the place, it should be easier to sneak around him than before. Then again, I could be wrong, and it may just climb up into the vents with me for a little snuggle. Sometimes it doesn't move for a while, too, and that throws me off. It's got to be in the room off to the right now. Kind of. Just like investigating. It's weird that it doesn't check the vent right now. I mean, it's a moving thing that opens and closes. Then again, the debate as to whether they have eyesight or not has always been the one that raged kind of hot. I don't know. Get out of my vent. I think that may have bugged it out, kind of. I don't know. It didn't appear to really like the vent idea too much. Either way, I'm going in here, and I'm getting inside a box. Maybe? There is a vent right there. What did... I was going to say, what did we learn last time? You know, what did we learn last time? Just hide in the crate. I will be in the crate. I'm going to break the episode off right here. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care, everybody, and as always...